pray, I pray, I pray that we work together so I win. And I pledge to all the delegates that you have the best choice to make right now because history would never forgive you. It will fail to get it right in 2023. Ahead of the 2023 presidential race, Tien Jack Rich, founder of Belema Oil Producing Limited, has declared his intention to run for the post of president under the platform of All Progressive Congress in the forthcoming election. Speaking on Friday, during his presidential declaration, Jack Rich said he will be pragmatic in addressing the problem facing the country and also promise to optimize the oil and gas sector of the country. I know that this country belongs to all of us and I know that we need the best for this country. What has 2023 got for us as a country? What are the challenges that 2023 has gotten for us? The most important thing that we need to realize is that in 2023, the total population of this country will eat over 222 million. And if you look at the dependency rate of 78%, I'm telling you, over 174 million Nigerians will be dependent. And it then means that less than about uh, 54 million Nigerians will be within the working age, the middle class, and the upper class. And the growth rate of about 2.5% being the net population will hit us about over 5 million every single year. So if that adds to the population number, the leadership of 2023 must cut out for the population deficit of 2023 plus the projected population of 2027. So what economic policy will that leader put in place to mitigate that exposure is a concern that created a bubble in my heart to pursue the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The oil and gas is a major catalyst that we need to use to activate our industrial development. I'm promising you that by 2023, we have a master plan to move oil production to our 3 million barrels. And not only that, we also have the master plan in such a manner that we can look at the low hanging fruits where we're losing our oil and gas resource values. And then provide the technology based infrastructure such that operators will be advised to contribute our fair share. In that way, we will be able to earn the best in oil and gas you know, production and be able to refine what we consume because that's my strong, 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 strong base. If we have the oil and gas resources fully developed, we can activate other industrial value chain. I will say nothing other than saying that the only way we can have the low hanging fruit to realize the enormous amount of dollar base earning is to optimize the opportunity that the oil and gas has gotten for us. Because 2023, you're not going to be seeing creditors running after you and asking you to take credit. Because every economy will be struggling in 2023. And the only way that you can bridge the gap is to ensure that the resources that you have is utilized as a catalyst to activate all other sectors. Our plan is to care for our fathers, our old fathers, our old mothers. Our plan is to care for our young boys and girls. He further said his presidency will strengthen the value system and create 26,000 jobs in all local governments of the country in his first year as the president. Knowing what is coming and then providing the enablers to deal with it uh, from the economic point of view locally and also from the global point of view politically. The point is that when somebody is hungry, it becomes hangry and it would build up into uh, a, you know, a ripple effect that you wouldn't be able to have peace. If somebody is hungry, even if your fence is 10 meter high, he will want to drill into it to be able to provide his, his need or to feel his interest. So uh, these are all you know, pretty much important issues. Foreign investors in Nigeria, you don't have to go, you don't have to run away, you don't have to be scared of my presidency because I speak your language. I know where it bites you and where it hurts you most. We will sit together and negotiate the best for this country whilst you make your own profits and take it away. We will also work with you to ensure that you contribute your fair share and ensuring that this country is also able to stand so that we can move from the multi-billion dollar economy to a trillion dollar economic league and have a place in the committee of nations. We will not only be sitting down overseas and negotiating and talking about reducing our carbon 
you know, greenhouse gas emission and carbon footprints without the relevant technological enablers and access to knowledge-based economic growth as we industrialize this economy. And for the education system, this is part of my vision. The vision for a prosperous Nigeria that I call VPN is centered on four strategic economic coordinates. Number one is technology. And then the second one is education. The I is innovative industrialization and national integration. Also, will no longer experience striking. Because we are coming in to build a knowledge-based economy. So, ASO strikes and all that will be a thing of the past. Because I know that what you've been crying for is a reason for my emergence. Our students that graduate will no longer graduate and look for jobs. They will, whilst in the education system, while at school, they will identify their key potentials. They will study in areas that enables them to come out of universities and provide the needs that the communities really want in terms of consumption and make this great country proud. Our diasporans also who are listening to me right now, I'm speaking to you, my diasporans. When I looked at the record, you have shipped in into this great country in terms of remittance. The three previous records, 2020, I heard that you moved in about $25 billion. In 2021, I saw that you probably moved in about $30 billion. That's about 1.1% of continental Africa's GDP, and about 6.5% of Nigeria's total GDP, and about 95% of our national budget. So you are a critical asset for the development of this country. We will collaborate with your knowledge-based skills to partner with our brothers and sisters in Nigeria. We will bring you back home to work with us. You will have faith in us because we will not just take your knowledge and kick you out. We need you in this country to reset the trajectory. Together, we can make history if we believe. I, Mr. Tain Tainbo Selefra Jackrich, hereby declare my interest to run for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Docas or Larry Waju, Voice TV, Nigeria.